Far East. This program consists of a series of short video clips for use on the interactive whiteboard, designed to stimulate mathematical discussion and problem solving. Finally, you're here. Each lesson start presents a different mathematical problem. The clips are intended for use with Key Stage 2 pupils. A year group is suggested for each clip. There are eight lesson starts in total and they can all be found on the Teachers TV website along with related extensions. to win the most glamorous pig of the year competition. To improve my complexion, I'm going to eat lots of apples. Oh, yummy scrummy apples. Now, each box costs the same, but they each contain a different number of bags of apples. Box one has five apples per bag and five bags. Box two has six apples per bag and four bags. Box three has 11 apples per bag and two bags. Box four has three apples per bag and five bags. Box five has four apples per bag and seven bags. And box six has two apples per bag and eight bags. Now, in order to get the most apples, which box should I choose? Box one has five apples per bag and five bags. Box two has six apples per bag and four bags. Box 3 has 11 apples per bag and 2 bags. Box 4 has 3 apples per bag and 5 bags. Box 5 has 4 apples per bag and 7 bags. Box 6 has 2 apples per bag and 8 bags. Which box should Piggy choose to get the most apples? I have ten puppies and at each meal they have 400 grams of food. How many grams does each puppy have? Meg has 400 grams of food and 10 puppies. Each puppy gets the same amount of food. How many grams does each puppy get? There are 32 seats in every carriage and 12 carriages on the train. There are 32 seats in every carriage and 12 carriages on the train. How many people can travel on the train seated? Oh, 
me hearties. I've lost me treasure map. And all I have is these pesky instructions to help me find my way to the treasure from Dead Man's Rock. All these here directions relates to angles on me compass. Now, every angle starts with me facing north at zero degrees. Here goes. Start at Dead Man's Rock facing north at zero degrees. Turn 90 degrees and walk forward 10 metres. Face north, zero degrees. Turn 180 degrees. And walk forward five meters. Face north, zero degrees. Turn 270 degrees and walk forward five meters. Face north, zero degrees. Turn 360 degrees and walk forward until you cross your original path. X marks the spot. Ha ha! I think I found me treasure. Using the instructions, draw Pirate Kate's map and find the buried treasure. Start at Dead Man's Rock, facing north, at nought degrees. Turn 90 degrees and walk forward 10 metres. Face north at nought degrees. Turn 180 degrees and walk forward 5 metres. Face north at nought degrees. Turn 270 degrees and walk forward 5 metres. Face north at nought degrees. Turn 360 degrees and walk forward until you cross your original path. X marks the spot. Natisha is doing a survey of what people in her class have in their packed lunches. Today, she has a sample of 10 of her classmates. One person has a chicken wrap. Two people have pork pies. Two people have pasta salad. Two people have fruit salad. And three people have cheese sandwiches. There are ten students in total. One person has a chicken wrap. Two people have pork pies. Two people have pasta salad. Two people have fruit salad. And three people have cheese sandwiches. What fraction are eating pasta salad? What is this as a percentage? Jessica, Charlie, Tim and Sue are making a chocolate cake together. Each does a different amount of preparation. Jessica stirs in the ingredients to make the cake mixture. Charlie grates the chocolate, stirs it into the whipped cream and makes the frosting. Tim pours the mixture into the tin and puts it in the oven. Sue does the decorations. The cooks want to divide the cake according to the amount of work they each did. Jessica did 50% of the work, so she should get 50% of the cake. Charlie did half as much work as Jessica. Tim did half as much work as Charlie. And Sue did the same amount of work as Tim. Sketch and label a cake to show the percentages each person will get.
Finally, you're here. Right then, tomorrow night we're going to rob the bank, drive to the ferry port and escape by boat. Now, 140 kilometers per hour is the top speed of the car. To avoid being nicked by the police, we can't go less than 100 kilometers per hour. Every gold bar mm, that we steal will slow us down by 2.5 kilometers an hour. Your job is to tell me how many gold bars can we steal without going slower than 100 kilometers an hour. The fastest the car can travel is 140 kilometers an hour. The slowest the car can travel is 100 kilometers per hour. Each gold bar slows the car down by 2.5 kilometers per hour. What is the maximum number of gold bars the thief can steal without being caught by the police? Hello, Mrs. Hansen from Nice Dice Factory. Hi, it's Jenny from Top Toys. Oh, hello, how can I help? I'd like to buy some dice. OK, yeah, that's fine. How many would you like? I'd like 10,000 dice, please. OK, well, I'll have to go and see how many boxes I'll need and um, we'll try and get them sent out to you today. No, that's great, thanks. OK, not a problem. I think we have your details. Have they changed? No, it's the same. OK, lovely. All right, thanks very much. Thanks, bye. Bye. That was the toy factory. They want me to send them a large shipment of dice but I'll have to work out how many boxes I'll need. Maybe you can help me. I need to work out how many dice I can fit into each box. The length of each side of the dice is four centimetres. Each box is 40 centimetres wide, 40 centimetres high and 40 centimetres deep. How many dice do you think we can fit into each box? Mrs. Hansen has to work out how many dice fit in a box. The dice are 4 centimetres by 4 centimetres by 4 centimetres. And the box is 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. How many dice do you think will fit in a box and how many boxes will she need for the 10,000 dice? <laughs> 